Hey, what's going on guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT Champion and now I'm just finally gonna bring out the Porsche 911 GT3 RS for a Vision Toll Drama fan art on Gran Turismo Sport. So, looks like it's time to get everything started to start making Beb's library. So, I really think that this is gonna be a long waited for this Porsche for the first time in Gran Turismo history. But, Looks like I'm about to be selecting a color to see which one is going to be fit to choose. Well, whenever it depends on, I would like to be putting on the different select colors on the green category selection boards. Well, definitely, this is how I'm about to start making Beb's library for today's library editor. So, I really think that the G7 Kenny Metallic is going to be the right color choice. So let's see how it's going to give me a little more check on. So the color designs might be start out on the green, beige green, or the pink color. Well, definitely green, beige, green, and pink is definitely the right next spot for it. Just drag around and pick any pink color which is going to be right this one and especially the rear ring might be in pink as also. Okay, so this one should be good. Alright, so maybe let's start printing on the windshield banner first and putting up the driver name on it. Well luckily car number type 2 is going to be the number 16. So looks like this is going to be the only good choice for it. So let's just see what's the personality about Beth. Well, she was born and raised on a farm with only animal friends and her parents to keep her company. Thanks to her background, she never developed proper social skills, even st stating that her best friend is actually her pet big Bertha. She does anything for attention while she excels at getting others to stop and stare. It is more often than not for embarrassing reasons. Beb herself remained obvious to the to this problem. She also tends to be a very dependent person, most likely caused by her desire for everyone to like her. Her native ways makes her ideal well, definitely like Courtney, Heather and Justin over time for it. Beb learns to stand up for herself and stay strong all the way to the end. Overall, Bib is considered to be the sweet and trustworthy girl among the cast who learns to be strong and independent. Well, I kind of think it is true for it. Well, I kind of think I just a little bit lost distracted that I was at the other. Well, thanks for the heads up. Okay, so maybe let's start out on the rear first by giving you a little more signature on it. Alright, that should do it. So, I would like to be grabbing the Toll Drama logos right here. So, I kind of think I'm always putting on the European license plate to be make it better to be as official. Okay, that's one here and time to set up the her signature name on it. Okay, there she is, so let's just put her right in and stretch it up for it. So I kind of think that Porsche was the best recommended car ever that she also says in Ocean's 8 or 9 episode. Well, I kind of think I was also mentioned about Porsche. So let's just start making for it because I'm about to be changing up the colors before I'm about to get 
all the decals set up for. But maybe for first, I would like to do the license plate until I'm about to get starting on the body section. Okay, so looks like it's time to go in and start making a nice library. So let's just select her as a base start. Well, I kind of think I just wanted to zoom in for it. So I kind of think that was her without braces on. Well, I kind of think that she finally got her teeth to be nice and normal. Well, I really think that is very nice and genuine for it. Okay, so let's see how am I going to figure this out. Hmm, well, I kind of think a combination mixture of a G Porsche library style slash TD fan art. I kind of think this is going to be a little bit challenging for me to make a fine exclusive library on the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. But anyway, maybe this, this might be kind of to work things out for a bit. Okay, let's just stretch here and add a next layer. So probably Porsche library slash pattern texture should be giving the only best opportunity for doing something for come up with a good library design to make it something else for it. Okay, definitely this one should work. Well, I guess this might be the only pattern that might be giving go right into it. Okay, so definitely the same thing as usual. Probably the beige green color might be the only spot recommended for it. So I would like to be choosing this kind of a color and then like accept it. Okay, let's just stretch it out and change this pattern color to be, well, definitely change into pink or green beige, whatever it depends on. I just really want to see if this is going to be quite good exclusive design. Okay, so maybe let's start out with the Canadian flag and signature name on it first. Let's grab the maple leaf. Just go and move in and this one definitely placed right here. Maybe I'll have to save it later and until I'm about to be putting the signature name on it. All, all set. Now time for the reverse on the duplicate. There you go. Now let's just go and add some decals on and well, let's see how else am I going to be Continuing on to start with a description for it. Okay, so looks like definitely choosing any kinds of decals whenever I have to be recommended choose. Well, maybe for start, time to go with Phantom logo and this will be giving a little more quite efficient. One's been placed. I kind of think I still have the Porsche logo. Maybe let me check and see if... Okay, so definitely no Porsche logo here. 
just trying to, to keep me checked on for it. So maybe let's just go and choose any brand logos and let's just go with GoPro. Just try to be independent. So I would like to be stretched up right here and this is definitely going to be good for. Okay, so let's just grab the Gran Turismo Association logo right over here on the side. Well, I kind of think that Unicorn Media was definitely the only fictional logo for it. Well, that's definitely a, a made-up logo, but well, definitely it stands Unicorn on it, so this might be quite getting a good library choice for it. Okay, so definitely Bep participate in Total Drama Island and Total Drama Action, so Let's just go and give it a try and place it right here and let's just go and move her here and size it up more. I kind of think I'm just giving a little more management makeover for giving a little more advantage design for it. Well, I kind of think I remembered I just made uh, Lindsay's library on the Mercedes-Benz SLS, but this time Two BFFs with the same car class of N600 would be giving a good matching choice for any strong capability for it. Okay, so let's just grab the TDA logo and this one should be right here. There you go. Now let's just grab the Gran Turismo logo right on the side of the rear. Well, definitely Pharmacy 24 was the, uh, the only logo I never tried out for. So let's just give it a shot and see if this is going to be the only good logo to be putting on for. Well, medicals are, medical conditions are always important for it. Alright, now let's just go and pick the Puma logo to see which one is going to be right here for it. Okay, that's another one. Okay, Teletoon logo, Canadian Network is definitely the only right spot for it. Okay, let's just grab the official Toll Drama logo to be putting right here and this one is gonna be not this one it, well probably this one should be good on this spot now let's just go and grab the GT Planet logo and let's just give it right here right next to it Well, definitely, let's just try the Melody Radio. So, I kind of think... Well, I also saw her audition for TDI because, well, she sings for it. 
But this is gonna be the only spot for it. Okay, let's just see if I really want to change things clear. and pick the TCS logo should be going right anywhere for it just want to see if this is gonna be the only zoomed in spot for it okay time for YouTube just go and read it let it rip Okay, so maybe I'm still trying to working on it for picking different kinds of brand logos. Okay, so let's go over to hand coop over here. Just want to see this is gonna be the right spot. Okay, so it looks like everything's quite going well. Now let's just go and bring out the reverse first after the, well, maybe I'm about to be putting on some decals on the other side to move on in. Let's bring them all over and then I'll just have to place her on the other side along with the decals. But I'm just still working on it. But I'll make sure I'll get the layers to move on in. Okay, with all the decals placed, time to put all the layers into the other side. Okay, that should be good. Time to place her on the reverse. That's more like it. So let's just check on to the hood and see what else is next. Now, definitely each different layers should be giving the only recommended spot to see which is which to be determined. So I would like to be choosing any different patterns right here whenever I decide to choose. Well, maybe this one should give you a little more a close makeover. Now it's just putting on the beige green color should be right here and then this was definitely gonna be good for it. Of course, maybe I should really forgot putting on Demon to Art logo will be right here. Okay, time to putting on the TDI logo style right here for it.
Okay, time to putting on the first style of the Insport Tech. But this time, this is going to be skewered on each section right here. Okay, that should do it. Now, maybe let's see what else am I putting up next. Oh yeah, I really think two Total Drama logos would be good to be right here on the other side on the pink mirror view. I almost forgot, the maintenance begins in 5 hours so maybe I really think that this one is going to be the penalty issue fix so I'll make sure that this is not an update. Okay that should do it. So let's just go in and pick and maybe before that I would like to be putting on two T faction logos so definitely Beth was in the Screaming Gopers once and in season 2 she was actually part of the Killer Grips that that almost recalled in my mind okay Screaming Gopers is placed in and time to get the Killer Grips logo right here Just size them up and putting on the reverse duplicate leaf. Alright, so looks like this should be good. Side mirror checked. Time to do the rear ring part. But first, maybe let's just grab the out front logo and size them up and hmm. I wonder if this is going to be a little bit harder to tell. But anyway, let's see if this one should work up for it. Okay, so let's set the projection area and see how this works. Okay, so looks like this should be good on this part. But I'll make sure this will have to be able to check on next time. Alright, so let's just go and stretch it up and projectile on the angle. Duplicate reverse and then there you go. Looks like the wing part is done, so let's just do the front and the back first. Definitely always important to be putting on different kinds of patterns would be giving the fine relatively shape. Go with this one and let's just skew it in and just want to see if this angle should be giving a little more increase the limit. Okay, depth limit will be extended to be at 10. So maybe this will be on the pink color. So this is definitely the defiant relatively color. Okay, so this spot should be quite good and maybe let's just 
Gonna have to do one more so I could probably do the back. So I would like to be putting on each spot on the patterns. So maybe let's just go in this one. So this one should be giving a little more cool confinement. Okay, let's just beige this color up and move this layer over here. Okay, last but not least, Polybody Digital should be... Let me see if this is going to be the only spot for it. Okay, that should do it. Now, time for the rear. So this time, I really guess that putting on the splat pattern should be the only way for it. But this one should work. I guess that might be the only last part of the pieces of the combination for it. Okay, let's go and choose the KW right over here in both sides. So I really think I'm still trying to check on the collection. Oh yeah, kind of thing I almost forgot, putting on the girl series should be right here on the Porsche. So this might be right here for it. So, depends on choosing on each section colors for it. Just continue scroll down faster and let's see when, whenever I last left off. Okay, so definitely the cover girl should be right here on the only main piece. So let's just go and check back on the personal decals and maybe let's just put it on the different in sport tech right here and just gonna be checking again and maybe let's just go and pick the Weaver or Progress International. Okay, that should do it. Oh yeah, I forgot one more thing. The Porsche 911 has also appeared in Need for Speed. That's definitely the only 
other appearances for it so let's just give it a try for it and see which spot am I gonna putting on for Well, maybe this one should work. It's putting on reverse and... Well, looks like this might be it. The sign's all done, so let's just do wheel change color and... I would like to be going on the beige green or pink depends on. So let's just go with metallic. Okay, so looks like this is all done. So let's just make it as a three color type. So this one's going to be green, beige, green, and pink. Okay, she's all set and ready to save. Now I only have to wait until if I really want to go and try it out for a Porsche Cup. Okay, so looks like I'm just gonna add another clip. So this will give him more time for it. So let's just go and get starting from TDI to TDA. So Beb is appears in Not So Happy Campers Part One. She's the first contestant to be the uh, to be on the island, and it's extremely excited to be there. She's happily greet Chris and several contestants after they arrive. She is placed on the screaming gophers in the second. Well, she is part of it. In the second episode, well, she's the only person on her team who refused to jump off the cliff as she's too afraid. Well, she's just trying had to move on ahead to let the others jump. As she's too afraid by wearing a ch chicken hat as a punishment, Fortunately, her team wins the challenge, and she is spared from the elimination. Well, I kind of think that Heather formed the alliance in the big sleep. She and Lindsay are pulled into an alliance by Heather under the reassurance that the three of them will also reach the final three together. Well, she's finally putting on the confessional cam that she's so excited to be in the final three, but... Wonders what will hap happen after that. However, in reality, Heather is simply using them to ensure her survival while eliminating potential threats during the season. Beb and Lindsay are treated by Heather like serpents, serving her every need in which shown in Not Quite Famous. When Beb goes along with Heather, plans to vote up Justin. In Phobia Factor, Bev has to base her fear of being covered in bugs, but she doesn't easily, well, she easily overcomes it in scoring the first point of her team. Her performance is so good that Chris says that her performance is going to be hard to top. Well, I kind of think that bugs was her worst fear. I kind of think I still got a little bit of time before I'm about to get ready for a custom race. So, looks like it's time for me to have a one make race on the Porsche Cup. So, I really think I'm about to be giving a little more recommend tracks. So, maybe let's go on over to Blue Moon Bay Speedway in field reverse. And let's just go on over to afternoon for our fine weather. Okay, so let's just go and pick the Porsche. Well, good thing I still got that purple Porsche 911 as a reward card. 
So maybe I would like to go for a 10 minute race. So this will be giving a little bit more excited for it. Okay, time to go and give a little one make. Okay, 15 minutes should be giving the right clock for it. Just get all the penalty settings to be maximized. But I just don't need to do fuel tire and mechanical damage for now. So looks like it's time to go and get ready. So and up the creek due to Babs in the bathroom while Chris was explaining the challenge. She fails to hear what Chris's instructions not to take anything from Boney Island as it would be cursed. Well, I kind of think that Beth brought back a tiki idol from Boney Island as a good luck charm, but definitely it is a somewhat curse to it. And also that Beth has finally stand up to herself in Paintball Deer Hunter. She began to have doubts of her alliance with Heather as she realized that she is nothing more than Heather's pawn. This caused a tension between them. After risking her life stealing chips from Chef Hadget's mess hall, Beth decides she couldn't take it anymore and breaks off from the alliance. This caused a fight between them and Lashana enters the fray, helping Beth to shoot Heather with paintball rounds. In the moment of distraction, the killer bass is able to defeat them and wins the challenge. For her betrayal, Heather attempts to bolt Beth off, but she is deemed safe and Cody is eliminated instead. Beth offers to wheel Cody to the dock of shame because of his injuries. After kissing him on the cheek, Beth shows Cody her idol from Boney Island, to which he attempts to warn her about. That's definitely the curse for the screaming gopers for it. I kind of also remember the episode for it so let's just go and get started for it because this horse really wants to have a challenge all right she's all set and ready to go time to go fast to be a mid. so yeah i'm really thinking i'm about to take another practice for the horse stuff so just to be sure, if I really want to do another race, this one is definitely quite a lucky charm until probably the July update. But what is something going on in the July update? Hmm. Well, some of the Grand Christmas players surprised me about this new track. Definitely not like the ones in Grand Valley Speedway. Well, it is definitely a new track that I never believe on. But it is definitely going to be setting on in the southern front for the update. But what about the other Holy Grail tracks from the previous Grand Turismo games? Most other GT players are excited about. Okay, so maybe this is going to be a little long time to find out which course name is going to be come up. Whatever depends on Felicity Digital's decision, they just also shows us a new track coming soon. So it's definitely like Digital de La Sierra from Grand Turismo 6. I kind of think it's, so it's going to be another front location racetrack, definitely in the southern part. We'll have to find out and see. Okay, so let's just go and do a little slide turn and just try to keep at it. Okay, there we go. Pull another break. Okay, watch it.
Okay, so we've only got five more to go. See, there might be more force coming in for us. But I hope this is a little bit easier challenge to see how this works. Okay, do a little more grip handling and stay on it. Okay, third lap. That should be going good. Good thing the e-brake is still going on for it. Alright, stay on it. This, this Porsche library really wants to going for first place. So definitely I'm just really going to go and switch up the interior view. So the price difference is on the back. It also shows the black part. Well, I kind of think I remember that I also got the lava orange color. It is definitely the official color for the Porsche. But this one ever depends on which color it is going to be suited for. Four laps going in, time to go in. Picks it up a bit. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah. And if you can't take the heat, Heather orders Beth to apologize and rejoin the alliance. Hey, hold on, I kind of think I'm a stick on the chalk turn. Well, she also refused after the fight in the paintball episode. Well, somehow, she just really don't want to take a second chance for it. But she also should carry on to better ways without Heather, of course. the grip. Okay, so it looks like it only got 9 minutes and 30 seconds to go. Well, for most of the episode, oh my gosh, I kind of think I almost a little bit distracted lost into it. Let's try not to bend Beth whenever Heather is insulting her. Definitely, that's that might be the part when she orders anyone for it. Well, Heather is most typically bossing around and definitely Beth doesn't like her the most. Well, I'm glad that Beth was always have the inner good and self for it. Never trusted any bunch of annoying, well, selfish favorite TV characters of all time for it. Okay, take a little more slide grip. Watch out for that wall. Okay, so let's check on the integrity stats. Okay, so still flying. Maybe I should really need to be more focused on board. Oh yeah, I kind of think I also love the part when Owen brought back the make makeover pocket. <laughs> well, I kind of think that was the only part that that she helped. Shauna to put Heather in the freezer. <laughs> well, I guess that she also spends time in the freezer until the challenge is over. Well, I hope 
header also needs a little cool down chill time for it. Alright, so let's just go and overtake the last two Porsche and looks like best lottery is in the lead. Okay, looks like only got 7 minutes and 10 seconds. Hope this replay also saves some time for it. Okay, so the book of course definitely comes back for it. Not a single chance for it. Well, definitely despising that what Heather realized finds out about that idol. Well, that thing was the idol from the Boney Island challenge. But that's how she just finally got herself eliminated due to the group breaking by bringing the idol back to the island because that could be cursed. Well, in the meantime, that's how she got eliminated. But only one sport. But I kind of think Beth was one of my favorite pulls on the character as part of the good people experience. But I'll make sure I'll be able to be save the parts later on after I'm about to finish this race. But maybe if you guys really want to watch the replay, well, I guess a little mistake seems to be a little bit more. Well, a little promise first, so I'm just gonna be dropped like a pro. Okay, let's just do a little more slight grip. Well, I kind of think the Porsche 911 GT3 RS is the RR drivetrain. But it is definitely easier to be drive on each corner while drifting. Let's just try and keep it nice and steady, and let's just keep an eye on the clock. Okay, do a little more performance of grip. Let's try to keep it nice and steady. But I cannot believe it that Beth has finally stand up the center since the paintball challenge to the cooking challenge in, in two episodes. Well, I kind of think that's definitely the most standing up part for it. But sometimes the serpent person would like to suck it up to the bottom in person. And then, well, maybe just a little bit past it to self fabricating to itself. Okay, several ports are definitely coming in for it. So where are the planes come flying in? I kind of like these planes to fly everywhere, all above the track. I turn in, two ports overtake it. I hope this is gonna be the only one thing for sure, because Beth Lavery really wants to stand up to herself to overtake a lot of these Porsche 911s. 19 of Porsche 911s, including this one, is gonna be the only strong library for this whole drawn of fan art design will also to go and straighten up to drive independently. Oh man. Oh gee, this is gonna be a little bit harder to take. Well, looks like the course out finally recovers. 
Good thing that the replaced car at the exit track should be giving you a little more time to take a second chance. All right, so it looks like I only got two minutes left. Let's just go and pace it up faster. Okay, that should do it. One more Porsche. And this one is going to be back in the lead. library and this is definitely quite done for it well maybe I should probably have to practice more for it well I kind of think that realizing that Beb is to blame for the team's losing streak well she got eliminated that night becoming the final victim of her own curse she walks away sadly while Heather laughing and mocking her. Well, before the campfire ceremony, Beth states that she will return the idol back to Boney Island, but its review in trial by triot armed Athlon. She had actually broken up the idol into pieces and flushed it down to a suspected tank. Well, I kind of think that is something somehow, of course. But looks like this is going to be a little bit common to ask if you guys really want to watch it again. Well, she reappears in after the Dock of Shame at Play at the Loser, Losers while she's enjoying the facial with a pair of sharks. But my shark always wants a facial with Beth. When she asked about Heather, Beth says that turning her off was the best moment of her life. Later, when the eliminated contestants gather around the pool, Beth says she wants Owen to win. But later in the finale, she's among those who supported Owen from the start. In the reunion special, Beth is shown to be best friends with Lindsay as they spend much of their time at Playoff the Losers together. 
teams up with her and even allows Ezekiel to team up with them as long as he promises to show respect girls. At one point, the group is underneath the kids, but they fail to notice that as Beth and Lindsay are too busy chattering and ignores Ezekiel to try to jump on the kids. They later found the case by the river, but it was quickly stolen from Pope of them by Courtney and Duncan. They later found the case again near the washrooms, but this time they give it up for them. Unfortunately, Beverly and the long girls get knocked into the water and fall by for total action. And that's how she became the top finalist in total drama action. Well, I kind of think that that was all kinds of heavy Too. But maybe in case that you guys really want to read a lot of it, just check it out on the Total Drama Wiki if you want to see more for it. But definitely, she also talks about her alleged boyfriend named Brady. Well, she was also mentioning first time in the Masters of Disasters, the disaster movie genre. Well, she refused that she, she reveals that she has a boyfriend whom she met during the two break between the seasons at the dentist. So she's getting her braces removed. But that folks, that's how she finally got her braces removed in season two. Well, in season one she she has braces, but definitely she's finally now a full nice natural Baker Toll drama character for it. Well, looks like she finally grew up the braces, so she can probably increase the confidence for the season. But she's finally perfect again. But throughout any genre challenges that she also but upon Courtney's the competition in Ocean State 9, well, I kind of think that's the only part for the second part of the challenge. That's why the Porsche 911 G3 RS is definitely the right recommended spot for it. Well, I kind of think I also putting on the next list is the Cayman GT4 Club Sports. Well, I kind of think I should probably have to start working on two of them. But it takes time forever whenever I had to do a little beat making tutorial whenever you guys want to see it. Now, definitely in million dollar base, Bip is pit pitted against Heather and she wins both times after Heather underestimates her. Well, I kind of think that's a little game of badminton. Well, I kind of think what Prince said is good badminton and great badminton. But I cannot believe it eat fiercely in the badminton challenge. Well, definitely somehow discovered the video on Courtney's PDA showing well, it is definitely the shot of bad mounting about everyone on the show. Well, it is definitely a little shocking revelation for it. But since Lindsay's eliminated from the rock and roll challenge, Beth immediately sees Courtney plans to bribe her with food as her way of recruiting her into an alliance. Having enough of fake friendship, she reviews anything Courtney's offers to her. The two of them are partnering with each other during the challenge with Courtney. Being the trainer and Beth is as the student, however the girls are easily lost to a pair of Duncan and Harold are forced to help Shep with kitchen duty. Well, that's how they just ends up in kitchen duty in the first part of the challenge. But maybe let's just go and get started first. Maybe I really had to do it all day. 
So definitely, I would like to be choosing the next track. So how about the Kyoto Driving Park Yamaguita plus Miyabi track? Of course, so let's just make it clear and let's just have a second part of the challenge. Just gonna do it grid start and putting on one make challenge. Okay, just wanna see this is gonna be good. So, looks like three laps it is. It's definitely quite giving the good a hand for. Well, I kind of think that Bep overcomes a many, a lot of good challenges. And she also finally got herself the first winner in season two is the one million dollars to her. But, well, looks like Bep is reunited with Brady in the fourth aftermath. Well, I guess that's a, a good relationship. Might be the right start. Depends on her ending or not. But, she also likes to having a good time for it. Okay, so looks like everything's ready to go. So let's just go and race. So definitely Beb also appears in Celebrity Man on Soul Gummit Action Reunion Special. Well, she's having a wonderful time at Paris with Lindsay. Well, she was trying to make a standing pose right next to the Mona Lisa, but then she accidentally tripped it on purpose. Well, maybe just try to be more careful next time. This is definitely a fun part for it. But in the meantime, I cannot believe that also comes out to be in the film by making a little touch on the Mona Lisa, but they can probably give him a little more payment to be using the cash to get out of jail. But somehow they just finally learn, learn their lesson not to do something personally violating for it. But also yet again, that's how she does not compete for souls on the world tour, but she also appears as a scene of gallery guest. Okay, still got more courses to go on for. Okay, just giving a little more grip, pass more course. I hope he can probably stand up against the course, just driving real hard and giving a little more advantage. Stay on it, pull a little break, watch out. Okay, that should do it. Now let's just go and drive on over to the next lap. So definitely Beb was also seen in the aftermath in season three of Tolls on the World Tour. So she also getting a little more helping a fight for her on Bridges. Well, despite that she tried to help her out after the humiliation from Alan Hunter. But, well, she tells Wendy to to put up the song as a, a next guest appearance. That's how they just really wanted to let them know. But, definitely, she also becomes a fan of the drama boys, along with Katie and City. But, well, they're just always giving a little more, definitely a little girl fight to see which one is going to be in the club with the drum brothers. Okay, so it looks like I'm still on second lap of the race. Just almost 
only got two more to go, but two strong courts are definitely go pro for it. I'm just giving it all I got. Okay, take on that cone part. Reach on into the apex. So definitely the spike I also saw the first part when, well, the kind of thing we see is holding up the camera while Beth is taking a little more standing right next to the Mona Lisa, which with any kind of balancing pose, well, the kind of thing I also remember the part that she accidentally tripped on to the Mona Lisa during her time on the vacation. But yes, even for sure, I really think that is understanding that we just watch the part for it. But, well, in that case, you guys have already know what I said in season 2 special episode. Yeah, I kind of think that that's how Sam and Lindsay have finally got out of jail with using their cash. So they could probably have to do a little yeah jail three card. So they should probably have to prepare themselves so they could probably move on over at the Jammies Award. But there is one other thing that that Bet is gonna be reappeared in Gold on a Daycare. Well, definitely the producer is just renamed into Total Drama Rama. I kind of think that Total Drama Noah just said that it's just been renamed. So I just really think that Total Drama Rama is going to be released by this year. Well, I kind of think that Beth is going to be a fear for it, but as a, a toddler. But I kind of think that Beth was also a fear as a toddler by a different outfit for it. Well, she also dressed as a thief, of course. But not to worry, I'm just gonna be able to wait and see if Tolkama is going to be putting on a Tolkama Rama is going to be released by this year or separately whenever it depends on. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be it, final lap of the race. So let's just go and bring her home to the finish line once again. The second part of the challenge is going to be raced at the field driving park Yamaguita plus Miyabi. This is definitely giving a little more exercise to do the more cautious of any racing skills development. So this will be giving a little more time, so I could probably putting up another Porsche library for it. Okay, just exit out on the Miyabi course. Take a little more hard right. Do a little more drip drip. Just giving a little more shine and slice by giving the jump for it. Okay, going on over to the last part of the chicane. Take a little more dive in. Move to the final turn, have a little more drift. Stay at the two gear and looks like home stretch for Beth Total Drama Life Reach Force 911 is gonna be the winner of this first place race.
Now, let me see what else am I about to go and get started with. So, definitely interactions. Well, Beth has a lot of interactions with everyone. But I kind of think that she has most of the people, except the less ones, but definitely like the less characters that she interact like Courtney, Duncan, Heather, and Justin. Well, definitely that's four of them. And the most interactions was Lindsay, of course. Well, I kind of think that's definitely the good match for BFF for it. So, I kind of think let's just get all the earnings summary done for it. And this will be able to be wrapped this up for it. So let's just go and exit out of the track and let's pick the daily workout vehicle should I get. Ah, looks like another Massa Intensa, Group 3. That's very good. Now, I'll be able to add this one in the garage. So let's just go and check on the mileage exchange and see how this one's quite giving a show for it. Well, I kind of think that 3 rim styles or 4 might be available to be purchased. And there might be some new colors that I really want to go and buy some. So, I really think I would like to go and start out with the orange, yellow, and green color shift colors. So that's definitely what I need for it. So, just only have one color per day. And I'll make sure I'll be ready to wrap this up. So definitely, Porsche is the recommended car brand for Beb was also mentioned in Ocean's 8 or 9 episode on Total Drama Action. So, I kind of think right before and Gran Turismo Sport now because this is definitely the good choice for her by having Porsche was definitely the most recommended choice ever of all. But, this is definitely the only good library style for it. But, I really think that this is going to be a supercar best of library. Now, maybe I would like to give you a little more quick show of you guys sports. Now, I really think I still got the SLS AMG board. Oh yeah, I still got the Lindsay's Library board, which is the 2010 model. And that one is the 2016. That's how it also shows up here for it. Well folks, I hope you like this library and I hope you enjoyed this race. Thank you very much. And please don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Check the two links below if you want to see more for it. And probably this time, it will be a featured Toll Drama character by the Dirt Link by giving a little more info on you guys if you want to see more for it. So, maybe let's see if I really want to make the next Toll Drama library for it. I'll make sure I'll find out and see. So, I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you s enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later in the next race, and have a great day.